My name is Paul Reed, and I'm a technical rep for Nikon Canada. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new Nikon D5500, an incredibly small and lightweight DSLR that comes loaded with features. A lot of those features it shares with the D5300, such as a 24.2 megapixel resolution sensor, 39 autofocus points, full 1080 video with the ability to shoot at 60p. This lets you really slow down the action for a very smooth, slow motion look. A 3.2 inch flip out LCD screen, a 5 frames per second continuous shooting mode, and built in Wi Fi. Since most people already have their smartphones with them at all times, Nikon has created a Wi Fi workflow that works with that fact, instead of trying to recreate the wheel. Rather than having a camera be able to attach to any nearby wireless network, the D5500 will create its own ad hoc network, which your phone will then attach to. You do this just the same way as you're going to attach your phone to your home network, but instead, you pick the Nikon camera. Once you've connected to the Nikon network, you can open the free Nikon app that is available for iOS or Android devices, and either scroll through your photos you've already taken, or use the app to trigger the camera, all while getting a live preview on your phone. A couple of major improvements in the D5500 are the improved ergonomics and the new touchscreen capability. The first thing you'll notice when you pick up the D5500 is how much larger the grip feels, even though it's Nikon's smallest DSLR ever. Nikon actually designed the D5500 in a similar way to the D750, by using a monocoque chassis to increase overall rigidity and by using a new carbon fiber polycarbonate blend material to reduce both size and weight. This ensures that no matter who is using the D5500, it will feel both comfortable and sturdy in their hands. Many people these days are used to using touch devices in their everyday lives, so including a touch screen in an Icon DSLR provides them the swipe capability they're used to while giving them the image quality they expect. Obviously, you can use the touch screen to go through menu options or change settings like shutter speed or ISO, but the most innovative way of using the touch screen is with the new touch function control. There's already one function button on the side of the camera that lets you create a shortcut to items you use a lot, such as ISO or white balance. By going into the custom setting menu, you can now select a second function control, which is activated by the touch screen while you're shooting. You have eight different options that can be customized by this new function control, from focus point selection to ISO, all the way to aperture. So now when you're shooting with your eye pressed up against the viewfinder, an eye sensor will turn the back LCD off. With the screen closed against the body, the right-hand side of the LCD can now be activated by your right thumb, changing the item you selected from the menu. As you slide your thumb on the LCD screen, you'll see the change directly in the viewfinder, such as the ISO being raised or lowered, or the AF point being changed. The new Nikon D5500 is going to be a widely popular DSLR thanks to its smaller yet more comfortable size, the new touchscreen control, and its amazing image quality that can be shared right away thanks to the built-in Wi-Fi. If you'd like to learn more about Nikon's D5500, please go to Nikon.ca.